Right now at 515, a call for a local jail to release video of an inmate who died behind bars. We're talking about J. Michael Mitchell. The NAACP says the Hampton Roads Regional Jail has video and it needs to be shown. Our Laura Queso has been digging for more information. And Laura, what did you find out both from the jail and from the NAACP? Sure, the superintendent of the jail is not talking, but the president of the Portsmouth chapter of the NAACP is. And he's saying if there is video, he wants it released now. It's a face that may look familiar. It's the face of a man the medical examiner says died of starvation at the Hampton Roads Regional Jail. A judge ordered the inmate to a mental health facility, but that order was never carried through. Jamichael Mitchell. For the last year, the story surrounding his death has been anything but clear for some. But could video create the focus the NAACP is looking for? If the video exists, then they should come out and say it, number one. When there's multiple reports, even admissions from the jail itself, that it does. And so we just believe that it should be open to the community. Portsmouth NAACP President James Boyd says security footage from outside Jamichael's jail cell was recently discovered. But having this auto response of, oh, it's part of an investigation, or the, the silence is not good enough, especially in this process and this and a year out from the incident happening. It's not good enough for the community. The organization says officials originally stated that video from outside Mitchell's cell was recorded over. We wanted to get our hands on it. We sent them a Freedom of Information Act request. They sent us this statement saying they need more time. They need to talk to their lawyers. The Portsmouth NAACP is also renewing their call to have federal investigators look into Mitchell's death. And we haven't heard back today from the superintendent of the jail or the jail's attorney, but when we do, of course, we'll let you know. And jail officials have said before, though, their own investigation revealed no breach of HRRRJ policies or procedures and no criminal action. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.